My name is Lise, Lise Duma Richard. I'm a Canadian artist and I live in Fredericton, New Brunswick. And what I mostly do are acrylic paintings. So I love all forms of art. I like rug hooking, I love art journaling, I like knitting. But what I seem to do the most is some acrylic paintings. That's what I do and sell. And I create cards from my paintings as well. So today I thought I'd give you a little tour of my studio. I'm just, just simply going to take my camera, go around the room, and show you how I'm set up. Alright, so the first thing is this here is a Murphy bed. So my room doubles as a guest room as well. So I can have it all set up like this, spread my things out to work as it is now. Or I can put everything away and bring down this bed and it turns into a guest bed. So I have uh, these two tables on the side and they both fold into the wall. So I just fold them under and it makes uh, more space for my guests when they come. Um, I do this other thing where I get these shower curtains, clear shower curtains, and I cut them to the size of my table and I use that as a tablecloth and it keeps my table clean. So when I bring my tables down, they're not dirty. The wall isn't dirty like that. It stays cleaner. Now there's some splatter that gets on the walls anyway, but it is a studio after all. It still does keep it much cleaner. Now I'm always set up with some music. Right now I'm listening to my daughter, Talia Shaw. She sings and makes videos. Little plug-in for my daughter right there. So I always have music though, seriously. I find it really helps my mood and my creativity. So this idea is from my grandmother. She painted as well and I thought it was so good to keep everything together. I put all my tube paints in one. I put my fluid paints in the other drawer. Um, I keep my markers up on this top shelf. All my paintbrushes, everything I need is all together. The whole thing is on wheels so I can roll around where I need to in the studio. I thought it was a really good idea. I'm glad I got that idea from her. Now this is part of my Murphy bed. That's the table that I can bring down. I just bring the legs up and put that in so I can bring down the Murphy bed. Um, these are just some paintings that I put there to show you some of my finished paintings and my cards that I sell. And this is a chandelier that my neighbor was giving. He gave me two of them. So this one I painted in white and I'm going to put that one right there. So I've got a number of places that I can paint at. I can paint on that big easel. I can paint on uh, this little one here that I've got. I can use my tables, this one or the other ones like I showed you before. And I want to show you one other thing that I can do if I'm working on something really big such as this one. So right now I've got it set up where I can paint on the wall here. So if it's a really wide, big canvas, this is the way that I normally do it. I'll just paint on this wall. What it is are these uh, wooden beams that I have put in, these little beams that I've got nails all over, and I can just hook up my big uh, canvas on that. So I can move it and go back to my table if I want to, just by lifting this up bringing my little towels up and then I can put my shower curtain on the canvas to protect it. And there you have it. So it gives me a lot of variety, a lot of different ways that I can set up my studio depending on my needs. So I developed that idea with the beams because I was making big holes in my drywall. So that solved that. So I have another section over here. Um, this section is where I usually do my art journaling and sketching, so I have everything handy. So I like to surround myself with things that I like. I like to put images on my walls. I like things eclectic, clearly. I like old cameras and collecting things. This my daughter made. I thought that was a good idea. She wrapped these cans in different fabrics, and I can put my markers and pens and crayons in. That's a dish that I had made, a pottery dish. I put my markers in that. And I've got stickers and gesso and everything that I need to do my sketchbooking and art journaling is all set up right here. So yeah, I usually come and do some sketches before I do my paintings on my canvas. And 
sometimes I'll come in here and do some art journaling like in this little book. I just have fun on the pages and do some crafting. Now this is the other corner of my studio and here I've got a lot of storage space on the top and on the bottom. I've got a nice, another nice area there for working at. My son tends to take over this area right now. Here's something he's working on. So he's pretty crafty too. Right now he's been working on these fish lures. So he makes them from scratch. He just takes little pieces of wood and carves them into these shapes, polishes them, paints them, puts the hooks on them. And he also makes, uh, he used to make some rings out of skateboard. This is an old ring that he had made for me out of an old skateboard deck. So we're a pretty crafty family, I like to say. My grandmother made this painting here. Both my grandmothers painted. So like I mentioned, I like to have things around me that make me happy. These are my lunch boxes from grade one and two. They're the old style lunch boxes. I like retro things and just things that make me happy, make me creative as well. So here's the entrance to my studio. I've got another shelf to put things in and these are um, flower boxes. And I've put more crafts in there. So I picked up a little bit and I'm going to show you how to bring down the Murphy bed. So before I do that, I'm going to mention that my husband built this whole room for me with my father-in-law. It used to be all just cement. Uh, the people who owned the house before, they stored their wood in here. So um, my husband built putting the walls and the closets and everything else. And all this funky furniture, so the Murphy bed with the folding tables, the folding tables on the side, all this, all the cabinetry, that was all designed by my friend Veronique Morancy. She's an interior designer and we hired her to come in here and design this for me. So initially I was going to give some uh, lessons, some painting lessons, and that's why we had all these tables set up everywhere. I decided to stop doing lessons, but I clearly use all the table space anyway. So I love it. Veronique, you did an awesome job. It's very functional. I love it. So um, she designed it and then my husband uh, finished the build. So he he's the one who built the Murphy bed and put in the tables and everything else with her design. Okay, I'm so going to point out one last thing on the floors. Um, my husband had put in these nice click flooring and I was messing it all up with my paint. So I cleaned it all up and I got these foam squares and they're great because it's nice and cushiony on the legs and it protects my floors. So I would recommend this over a drop cloth because the drop cloths are slippery and uh, this is not and it's easy. So when I go to bring down the Murphy bed, I'm just going to fold it and I'm going to tuck it under the Murphy bed. All right, so here's how the table down so it doesn't open up and I move these to the side for my guests and these are the legs they always stay there I don't bring them down and there you have it that's all ready for my guests so it's nice and clean cleaner. I mean it is a studio. There's a lot of stuff in here but people can walk around the bed and it's nice and comfortable. A place. feature that I really like too is this light. There's a light up here. You can turn on and off for my guests. Well that's the end of my tour. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.